Americano, no somos bandera, somos candela. Energía que corre el mundo sin fronteras. Obrigada por el flow, obrigada por este calor, obrigada por el flow. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
good day to everyone watching the stream, which is probably a grand total of like zero people. Um, we got flaccid trips and antimatters playing. So, top two spot on the line. Well, it's a grand final spot. This is the top two game. I believe Antimatters actually ended up finishing third, but they beat Nukas in Paris, Paris last week to get into the uh, winner's final. Nukas in Paris also currently playing in a knockout game uh, against Pinksmen. Uh, but this is this is the top game of the week. Flaccid Trips versus Antimatters. Um, still waiting for the teams to get in. Um, I guess we'll talk, talk a bit about Antimatters, who uh, they have someone who I hold dearly, Buttercup, as weird as that sounds, on my minors team playing in uh, Majors. She did last week and she played very well with Belle, so I hope she does well again. I was uh, thinking about this the other day, she just gets drafted to every single horrible minus captain that ever exists. Um, <laughs> so hopefully she can find some success in Majors. Um, and then Flaccid Trips on the other, other team. Um, I'm actually really finding it hard to find someone who I want to win more Flaccid Trips or Antimatters because uh, you know, I do really want to see JL get that big majors win. And, you know, I tag as well on the team, as well as me here there, who's, you know, gets made fun of a lot. That's probably a poor word, but, you know, he's a solid player and just needs a good shot on a good majors team. And I, I feel like he's up to it. So, yeah, there's a lot of feel good stories in these two teams we want to see. You know, we've got Bell captaining. Um, you know, had a pretty poor season last season with captaining. I think it was last season, but, uh, you know, doing well. He's got Acti on the team, who's really looking to become the greatest player, I guess, if you talk in terms of Premier Ball wins. If he wins this season, he will be uh, unparalleled by anyone in the league with the most wins. So, yeah, we're going. We're going big. Anyways, teams, are, we're just waiting on uh, people to get in. Three people in chat. I mean, that's pretty good. We got. I think we have a. We have another majors game and possibly a minors game going on all at the same time. So the teams are in, getting ready to go. We got game one moon base. Um. Jail's played a lot of Moonbase, a lot of game one Moonbase. I know, I know we played it last week. Made uh, made some people look a little silly on that map, did he, uh, against NIP. So, Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> uh, Antimatters. They got, uh, they got their hands full. Let's see if the teams are ready. Can hurry up and get this one going. Uh, both teams ready. Let's get that launch going, fellas. So welcome uh, Game 1 Moonbase for everyone. Get a quick refresh in for sounds. Um, thank you Lucky Spammer. I don't actually know if that fixed it, but we'll soon find out. A lot of uh, a lot of midfield tag pro here. I think the teams know the boosts are the way this map is going to play. We'll see how long they stay disciplined like this for. Usually Moonbase opens up pretty quickly after a couple grabs. Rosu will get the first one. He's trying to go top, gets the corner well, and he's out under Vin and me here, who actually do get around, but a nice boost keeps him alive. They're playing some midfield defense on him. Acti's coming to take this mid boost out. It's going to give him some access on the top, but there is four ahead. And he's squeezing, but there's no anti. Um, almost better off dying a little earlier there, Rosu. Me here with a flagrant backwards boost. Uh, he's going to try to push him to JL, who is well positioned there. 
Hang on, that's going to be a reset right before pop. So well done by the flaccid trips there in the end. Um, Bell will win that tag pro on the top as Rosu and me here. Still fighting on that juke juice. Um, Mac is going to get a grab in the meantime. Doesn't get around me here. So depending on how Rosu grabs, he can't. So that's pretty well done there. Um, it's going to force a black the flag pro in the end. So pretty well done there by the Flaccid Trips defense. Bell's going to go down and under. One Flaccid goes and it pushes JL into that return. So um, yeah, <laughs> there's a whole lot of clutch defense going on there that that uh, unwanted Flaccid ended up putting JL in a good spot. So a uh, great OD from him there. Bit of a team effort, I suppose. Uh, Miss Bomb there is going to give Acti a chance, but... Oh, he does get past me here in iTag, and iTag misses the boost. The blocks are on, goes for the split. Not going to happen. So, 0-0, zero, zero, still going. Um, yeah, we're, we're going at it hard, so... No breaks for either of these teams here. Hey, uh... Ooh, kiss there. Possibly a good kiss from Rosu there with the TP and the RB. Bell does use the RB to win the TP. Um, me here there's got a bit of a job to do. Hopefully he can drag him away from iTag. Acti's got the lead out. iTag stuck in the back of base. Yeah, just baits around with that portal. Very well done. Now he's got to do a lot of living to do. Yep, he's going to go around that circle pretty well. He's got that boost at the bottom. So TP lead not going to work as uh, AM envision. So some good job there. Some just real passive and riskless holding there from iTag. He read the situation very well. I mean, he's kind of sitting on that boost a little randomly. It's a weird spot. Uh, not that I, not that I uh, argue against sitting on boosts on this map, but I feel like if you're going to do it, you're probably aiming at a more potent part of the map, and Buttercup ends up returning herself, so unlucky there, and that'll be another reset. Bell's going to win that bot part. Let's see. He knows it's a chain straight to top. He is aware, and he, <laughs> me here does get it after that, uh, that little poos bump. So we'll see what Bell can do with the juice in the back of base. Shut down by Vim. But it's going to give Acti a chance here. He's going to bounce off the back. And I think Acti's just going to play safe for Hogs. I know his me here has got the RB, but never mind. Just going to split Vin in the wall on the bomb. No worries, mate. Just Acti things. Probably the best player on the server for that specific reason. Controversial. I know, many people are JL simps in this day and age. And so am I, but I think Acti's still the best. Anyways, JL's going to play passively on this portal. Let's see if Bell takes a punt. Ooh, nearly gets him after the portal too. Guess correctly, but not good enough. JL's going to come on straight. Acti holding the line. Butters, unlucky to cop a bump there. It was a good grab, but didn't quite get out. Uh, but she gets some anti here. Bell's out of position. Pushed off the boost from me here, but it's a 2v1. And, uh... He does end up getting in line for the pop, which is what that matters. <laughs> Gets the sandwich and wins that. That's, that's key because uh, they do have Arby on flag. Dangerous. Butters is ahead. And uh, they're going to link up and go bot, I think, here. He's going to do some staying alive to do. It's a bit of chaos in the midfield. Oh. Jeez. That was a little unlucky. Oh, forgive me, guys. I'll try to fix the sound for you. Give me a second, this might look a little dodge while I do it. Hopefully that's better for you. Now you can hear sounds when they happen. There we go, I can hear them now too. There we go. Sorry, you still had my lovely voice and some music to accompany the lack of game sounds. My tag's gonna play a little patient here. Gets a good bounce. And another good bounce off the top wall, I tag. Second cap. Beautiful stuff there. Really did that really well. So, uh, I tag showing what he's made of. Definitely looking in place on majors. Just just needed a chance, and JL is gonna definitely be thanking himself that he believed in him. JL will force uh, on Flaccid. Vin's gonna opt to come in against three. Uses the boost again. Maybe looking for a similar route to I tag. I don't think he quite executed it well, but. An all right attempt nonetheless. I tag might bomb past a couple here. Yeah, Bell ends up getting that shut down though. Decently positioned, if not a little risky. So 11 seconds. Let's see if anyone actually tries to grab. 
I think Acti and Butters looking for that pop. JL making Rosu and Bell look a little silly. He's going to come off the back wall and the blocks are strong. And they're too quick. Flaccid Troops quickly getting 3-0 up off a beautiful little shimmy in the base from JL. And Itag is going to get out too. And they have the TP. Just needs to play slow. He's going to force everyone into the back of base. He can't connect with me here, though. He does get back. Gets to the defense of the gate. Gets Acti with a return, basically, on the gate. Well done to Itag. No call for JL to come off free. They're just doing it. Just Vin's going to try solo this. If he can get a bounce, can't quite get a bounce. Itag staying alive. Gets the kiss. And uh, this gives JL a head of two here. Surprised Vin didn't stay for a block attempt. Jay's boost. Puts the defense in and out of position can't quite get the flag tile so it's still gonna be 3-0 here as uh rosu looking on the underside just to stay alive and relieve a little bit of pressure but he's shut down quickly and jl still holding buttercup does eventually get that kiss and uh, we're gonna see a bit of midfield tag pro rosu lining up that boost probably could have sent it there i reckon um does get the return in the end but i think the moment's just quickly quickly gone there I know backwards boost aren't encouraged, but I felt like that was one moment for it there. Um, the return does come in the end, though, as the flag carrier. I didn't see who that was. Vin got tangled in the top side, so anti-matters are going to cop their first one of the game. The oh, gee, clutch, clutch button from Bud is a little lazy from me here, though. Probably could have been a fourth cap. Uh -huh. Don't really know what went on there to allow him to get out ahead. A bit of lazy sitting in the midfield. We're also going to get a bounce grab. As the top takes it, Jail's going to hold the boost. Hits it off the corner. I don't know if he really meant that, but I'm going to give it to him. Rosu once again waiting off that boost. Jail gets the lucky bomb onto him, but still going to result in a buttercup. No, it's not going to result in a buttercup out. Never mind. What kind of things happen when you Jail. One, one each. It's going to be a juice each. Me, he's going to be first one to the back. Bell, though, with a perfectly timed snipe. And Rosu just couldn't quite make it out there. Acti's going to come over the top. Gets around Jay. Gets around me here. Oh, the Juke Juice has run out. He goes to the portal around the bottom, but the 4 OD does get there in time. Acti making things happen. Um, on the bottom, Rosu. Oh, that was a pretty good comm there. Just wasn't quite quick enough, unluckily, there. But, uh... That was a good attempt there. It was a great bomb and almost the booster match. Oh, Bacti's going to get out under a couple, but the uh, Diamond OD is too strong. Jail can't quite, can't quite get that solo rushing for the portal. Swipes a bit at Rosu. The block comes from Butters. Let's see if she can affect it. Probably need to be a little more aggressive with that bump on Jail rather than just going for the gate. Um, and that's another reset. Gonna f everyone's going to be fighting for the pup. Jail's going to double up on the juices. Kiss comes in. There's going to be Jail ahead of one, maybe two, depending on how they send it. But it's just got a bit of work to do. It's a good boost there, actually. Now I tags under a bit of pressure to stay out. Doesn't. Butters does get shut down. Vid ahead of a couple. Bell miss boost. Acti miss boost. And that's going to be a flaccid trip. Punish. In the last 30 seconds, so... Oh, no, don't tell me they're going to do it again. Me here around the back. Let's see how strong the blocks are. JL just bumping everyone. Me here cannot quite make it, and they're going to save that cap. They got one more attempt here. JL's going for re. He thinks he's got another. Itag's going to come around the back. Nah, can't quite do it. Let's see what JL can do with four seconds left. Nah, he can't quite make that. Ends up spiking. <laughs> Selfish from JL there. I won't lie. I would have thought giving Itag something to boost into... Probably a high percentage play than going for a cap with four seconds left. But uh, look, nonetheless, his team is up 4-1. Um, and despite a seven pop half from Balakwa, um, Flaccid Trips are absolutely dominating this game.
dog right hand thirsty you to the dawn So that was a pretty uh, exciting first half to my grand total of three viewers who are probably all in this game and muted. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. It's actually pretty fun to watch, you know. It doesn't look as one-sided as it can be, you know. Animators really came out with some good regrab trains, good attempts. Um, I think when you're playing at this at this high level against the best teams, you've got to take a little bit more risk, maybe be a little bit more aggressive on your... Uh, contain on the map when you get those chances to actually push up as a defensive unit It's probably the difference and like just those few little key slip errors, but you know 4-1 it's not a terrible scoreline against the flaccid trips on uh, on moon base I've definitely definitely seen worse I give you guys a bit of bit more music. Kind of hype casting a little, and it's probably going to be a bit more bit of downtime. And I think the teams are slightly getting a bit more ready now. Oh, I can't join. They're going to be a little annoyed at that. So, half to a moon base, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, this is where greatness happens. We actually get to hear the 3 2 1 here. It's a nice one. I mean, he's gonna take out a couple boosts. Once again, the team's starting off a uh, pretty disciplined on these boosts, but it really doesn't last long. Um, Probably the hot moon base rush, you know. Man C boost. And go. Roshu has been pretty patient on them all night. Gotta give him credit to that. He's gonna get a grab at the back of base. JL's out at the top. Gets past me here, does Rosu, and JL's getting contained pretty uh pretty well. Bell and I tag gotta get I mean sorry, Bell and Butter's gonna get that return on iTag. Not quite, I tag slipping past everyone, and now it's pressure on Rosu to live. Um He's slowly pushing up the map, has control of the boost, can't quite hit it because Bell was pushing him. Right. So a bit of hold for hold, it's going to be a TP each. Um, let's see what Rosu, oh, here we go, they're coming in. Oh, is that a clutch bomb? It might just be JL on that on that back portal. He's got four to beat. How does, how does he get past everyone? Where did Acti go? <laughs> JL out. You can't let that happen. You cannot let that happen when there's four in base and you have a tag bro oh you can't let that happen how does jail get out of that probably not much through his own doing so they'll, they'll be kicking themselves anti-matters perfect way to start off a game it was a nice snipe to 
catch uh, the flaccid trips off and behind the TP lead. He's in the back of base, just doing some funny things. He's got Vin and JL a little worried. Bell, unfortunately, in the wrong spot. Actually, he had outmaneuvered Vin, but Bell just kind of came into the wrong area, which was a little unlucky. So Flaccid Trip's going to get on the board first, so that definitely hurts. Um, they're winning the tag pros, though, so we'll see what Acti can make happen. Rosu with a nice bump grab out of ahead of a couple. Does he loop back for Acti? Acti's in two mines. They're playing a little slowly with this tag pro. They probably wasted too much time. Now it's out. It's moments like those. They probably need to be a bit more decisive. Uh, decisive. The uh, anti matters. We're actually just going to take out a couple of boosts. There's two on OD against Bell, and he ends up just running into the gate against me here. So. He's just got a bit of work to do, see if he can get out of base. But Vin's holding a nice passive position while the boosts get defused. Rosu does get there in time, but good position from Vin there. Playing passive up until uh, up until the moment for the return came and got the reset for it. Once again, Antimatters have another TP. Let's see what Bell can do with it. He runs O. Um, see if I can take a grab. Jay's got RB on Re, which they're playing anti against. Still gets out with it. Um, Bell's got a bit of work to do here. JL is going to make it happen. He just went in the right spot to counter that RB and 1 6 now. Ironically, I think that was the one time I didn't want to see the tag pro rush to offense. Probably get a defuse on JL first. Um, but nonetheless. <laughs> Yeah, one six down now. A lot of work to do. Rosu gets that boost spawn. He's out ahead quite a few. Oh, the comm just needed to be not back wall there, and he probably would have made it every other angle. Jail on the right spot. Out ahead of four. And that's Brazil. This is uh, starting to look a little ugly. Not overly doing bad things. Bill's just going to run straight in for a free cap off the back of that. Um, very unflaccid trip like. I was going to use that RB to great effect at returning Rosu. He's going to give Acti a little moment here. He does go low, gets out bottom past everyone. Once again, JL happens to just be in the right spot. Luckily, Butters was there to stop uh, Acti from rolling into him. Me here with a great little boost out the back. Blocks might be on. They might be on. There's a flaccid that comes in. A lot of pressure. Butters holding great OD there. Oh, it's probably not enough. Gets the grab in the end and bites enough time. Very well done there by Buttercup there. Definitely saved the Kappa on her own merit. See what Rosu can wiggle around. Beats me here a couple times, but Vin is going to hold that solid OD position even up against the block and gets the return in the end. Um, see what Acti does against JL. He goes to the very top. He threatens to be out of vision and uh, forces the bomb from JL and then ends up coming around the back of base. OD does scramble well in time. JL's going to make it out past two after an errant bomb. Probably doesn't want to take that. Oh no, he knows the TP's up. It's a good little, uh, it's a good little boost. Buys some time and now I tag. Going to come in <laughs> into the one spot Acti was blocked into. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think it was a hard one to read, but <laughs> it was an interesting route to take nonetheless. Rosu doing some tricky things all game at the back of base. Um, I feel like he's done decently well on flag this game. Probably a lot more little things to be desired from anti uh this game. But look, Flaccid Trip's really showing why they're the number one team in OLTP at the moment. JL is going to get that tag pro. Rosu's got one as well on the other side for Acti. Vin's boosting in from the back. It's actually in a little bit of a hairy spot. Gets returned. JL just gets absolutely bombed the hell out. Um, Mia's going to hold for a little bit. Does get returned in the end. And uh, a bit of pressure on Itag, depending on how the spawn goes. But it's got a pretty good block there. And Itag puts the pressure, makes it double. Butters gets returned. And uh, look, that's an Itag cap in the end. Clutcher trips just look 
super comfortable. Like, as I said, Rosu was making trouble at the back of base, but uh, I tag's been doing it well as well all game. You know, JL doesn't have to be said, he's been doing it well. Might even get himself a cap here. Butters does get there in time there to stop it. Uh, just before pups are spawning, I tag with a nice little uh, return. He's going to put a lot of pressure on. Probably win them both pups. Uh, Aki's actually a strong bowl. Might lose a cap for it. No, they, did, they decide to get the pup instead of the cap. Uh, I'm not a fan if it's just a juke juice. Surely you take the YOLO 1v1 there. Percentage plays are for losers. Butters, though. Can't quite hit that boost. The OD was in a pretty solid spot. Acti's just sending it. Doesn't have a regrab train yet. Look for a kind of bit of a nothing bomb. Kind of, that one puts you in a bit of no man's land when there's three OD. With JL and Acti happy to play uh, AFK gameplay. Oh, beautiful chain from JL to get that reset. An absolute savage off the fucking mid boost. <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't do that. This is his map. You cannot show yourself like that. And Jail's going to win that pup on the bottom side. Didn't quite see what happened on the top side. My tag does have a juice, so I'm going to assume he won it. Ooh, can't quite squeeze under Aki there. Good little attempt. <laughs> JL opts out of grabbing against a wall of three players, but gets around two instead. I don't know, can't quite make the split work. I think just going to be a little cheeky on the portal. Let's see if he can get past Butters. Didn't trust in the boost spawn, but I. Uh, ooh, he's just making them look a little silly there. Let's get that bottom boost here. Oh, it gets around Rosu onto the corner. Nice little line. JL's going to send it topside past. No, not past Buttercup. Very well held. Comes under, though. He's going to probably force a flaccid out of Acti. Yeah, and Rosu covers that portal line pretty well there. So, uh, no cap in the end. Last round of pups. Let's see if uh, anti Matters can get some pups and a consolation cap. Um, Rosu will get an RB, but so will Vin. And he's probably out of base with his. Um, Mirvair's got a pretty tall task against, too. Yeah, will finally come. In. <laughs> Try again, Vin. <laughs> <laughs> Not your best RP usage. <laughs> uh, we, we can have a laugh. They're up like six caps and they're going to win map one. Map, that's pretty poor. <laughs> oh, boy. Jail's just going to have a bit of fun at the back of base. Yeah, he's just like, give me, give me a chance to get past you. Happy to hold. Down does come. Vin's gonna have this last attempt at the Three, half. Two, one. Doesn't even get a cap flag. Bit of a loser moment. I tag is gonna top the scoreboard with two caps, four pups. Jay's gonna end up with five pups and two caps. Um, not as good defensively. It's why he's not on top. I should be said. Bell's putting in a big performance for his team over this uh over this map, but it's not quite enough. Flaccid Trip's going to repeat the first half. It's going to be another 4 1 half to end the game 8 2. So, making mean work of Moonbase. Not quite sure how many times, uh, how many times teams are going to verse Jail on Moonbase before they stop letting him have Moonbase. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep, we'll just keep, we'll wait for that one. We'll, we'll keep waiting. We'll see what happens next week. Or perhaps the week after. So for those who don't know, it's a bit of an interesting uh, schedule we have. Basically, the winner of this game goes straight into the grand final. And uh, the loser is still eligible for the double chance. So the loser of this game will verse the winner of NIP Pinksman, which is going on at the moment. And the winner of that game will then be uh, versing Flaccid Trips in the grand final. So we'll see what happens then and now to see what these teams are versing. But look, very different map time. Transilio, Transilio LTP 2021, if I'm being exact. Um, very different map. 
definitely not as fast as Moonbase. Um, a lot more controlled. Um, don't get me wrong, I think everyone likes Transilio. But if you're anti matters, you're probably hoping for uh, a better game. Anyone in the chat? Anyone unmuted in the chat? No. You know what? Might as well pack it up. Wait, 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 what are you thinking, Shandle? What's, what's, what's the number one thing you're thinking if it's... If you're anti matters. I think they gave too many freebies. I think they started off really well. They were doing the good contain, the little things. And then when things got behind by one or two caps, they kind of just got a little desperate. That's, that's how I see it, at least. Probably overreaching. Um, not picking their moments, you know. Sometimes you just got to absorb 90 seconds worth of hold. You know, play a bit of OD. And then find that moment to make it work. The salmon is cooked good. Who cooked salmon? You cook salmon? I cooked uh, I cooked chivapcha cheese and uh, some lamb chops before, and I reckon I got it perfect. You saw the eye tag cap. Was that, was that the first one? Did someone clip that? It was a really nice cap. Um, two eye tag near the beginning, I remember. Oh, the one where it was at the back of base. Yeah, shit happens and then you die. That's kind of how I feel, <laughs> feel about those kind of ones. Three, two, one. So, uh, welcome everyone. This is for a spot in the grand final here. Blasted Trip says you can see. Are ahead. First half of Transilio. So he's going to kick us off with the first grab. Might be JL looking at where he is. He does get it. Bale's in a good spot though. He will eat that flaccid for breakfast. So um, I'm going to get Rosu with possibly the first out of the game. Let's see what Acti can do on the blocks. Funnels Rosu through the portal. Um, but flaccid trips are pretty well done ahead. I tag with a nice little bump to get the return. And a grab ahead of three. He's going to do that pretty well. Bell's got a big task against... The blocks kind of come through. Itag doesn't quite hit that boost the way he did. The bomb keeps him alive, and he's got another chance thanks to a, a nice crafty JL bomb. You're going to win the, their pup. But it's going to shut down after that pup. they got a chance here. Let's see what they can do against JL. Uh, JL's just going to wiggle his way through. Aki's going to go for the kiss. But it's taking that safe route there ahead. Um, still not very safe. roshi has got a big job to do. Oh, they just get there in time. Very well done. So a couple good offensive plays stopped by scrambles and probably a little bit of a couple of misplays. I think I take would have had the first cap there if he played that a little better, but nonetheless, we're still tied up here at the start of uh Rancilio. I tag gonna eat that bomb out the bottom. Roshi's got another chance to get out. Doesn't get the portal spawn, but he's actually ahead of three with a good block from activation and bell. Uh, there's a nice gate that's going to buy him an extra bit of time. He's a little slow. Ooh. I thought there was a chance to send there. Um, have JL one out with butters. But he's going to get for the pups, and there's two TPs. Uh, forgive me. I forget that we can see what TPs are. Big pressure on Itag, who has a Juke Juice, and one spawning next to him. He's in the pack of base. Does get returned, and Rosu's going to kick it off. Anti-Matters 
going to come out swinging, get that first cap, something they couldn't do last game. And uh, they're going to be playing from the front foot on a slow map, so that's going to make all the difference, going to give them a bit of comfort. This is their map choice after all. So we should be expecting good things. I don't know if I'm a fan of that kind of grab from JL there. It's a little too telegraphed for my liking most of the times so if you just, if the defense is sitting there waiting. Um, my tag's going to use his bomb timers to affect. Acti's going to sneak out the back though. Vin will boost ahead. Yes, yes he does. Um, gives Rosu a chance, but there's three of them getting back. They're going to go for the pup instead. It's a good call. And he gets that tag pro and the poos to help Bell get out. Let's see if me here can make something work on the snipe night. Not quite. Jail's going to have the uh, RB as well as Vin on the other side. Diffused by Buttercup. Bell's going to play safe. There's another RB to deal with. So well done by Anti-Matters to not just rush into base and forget about Jail on RB Rui. Um, Bell opting for the kiss there. It's a safe play. I'm not quite sure I agree with it, but look, we'll let it happen once you're up. Bit like chess when you're up, you're not afraid to trade. Play that time. I tag's gonna do a bit of midfield, holding a good little boost, puts him ahead, creates a bit of pressure, forcing Rosu back to rebel with a clutch bomb, forcing I tag onto the boost and getting the return. Lovely stuff. Um, Rosu's got 10 seconds to hold. There is three TPs on the map. I tag's gonna try win that base one, but it's danger stations here. Um, they actually got good position on all three pups, despite the fact Rosu had the hold. Rosu's going to go flag pro. Oh, Butter's going to win that one on the other side. Muscle's out. Uh, I'm not quite sure who Rosu does get a return. Just need to buy a bit more time there. And uh, look, Flaster Trip's going to equalize. So uh, <laughs> it hurts when you win two, two tag pros out of three and then concede. Um, they're playing four defense here. I don't think Butters has got much of a chance. Tell you what though, that makes me a happy person watching my offenders both stay when there's a grab in base. Acti gonna get a nice little grab there with that corner boost. Kind of how you do it there, it's a little unexpected. Can't come around the back though, OD pretty well set. I tag with a nice push to deny the boosts. Um, gonna make Acti go all the way around the map and take access to that top boost. No, does get around bottom. Goes for the bomb, up the side, around the back, the blocks are on, Acti, what a cap, you freaking goat. He's going to bring Antimatters back into the lead, and uh, he's showing why he's one of the best players going around in OLTP every single season, every season. Oh, Bell, beautiful offensive RB usage, and look, the control they're showing on this map, uh, Antimatters is uh, probably making the flaccid trips feel a little uneasy. Just gonna grab into the back of base. <laughs> a little errant there, and uh, who's gonna be pressure on Acti here? But as an Acti, got pretty good OD now. They got Diamond there. That's uh, that's solid. They're gonna buy plenty of time for Rosu to come in. So a couple flaccids. <gasps> Go unpunished. I thought he was gonna sneak up. Yeah, it's an offensive RB usage, Shamble, because he used it to get a cap. Let's see. Good question. No, it was probably defensive. But, uh, yeah, I think JL's got a lot of work to do. Gets a round bell. Two TPs and they make it happen. Me is <laughs> straight lining acting, but the juice is enough. Um, JL's just doing plenty there. That was an amazing little hold to get out of base so while I had a bit of a silent moment. Ooh, the return comes actually not off the flag tile uh, in the end there. He's gonna put a bit of pressure on here. Return does come. Let's see how uh, both teams squeeze up the map here. Bell's gonna hold that mid. If he gets a return. First he's gonna boost over the top. A little adventurous. Probably gets himself returned with that uh, adventurous boost, giving JL a moment. Actually not holding the corridor, letting JL get all the way to the bomb. I don't think I... I'm not sure I agree with that, but... In the end, he's gotten to a defensive position right before Pops is spawning. I tag's gonna win that because they half-hearted their anti-matters. JL's just gonna combo a couple boosts. Too many. And uh, in the end, gets himself returned. Bell... Couple, 
kills. I don't know what happens to Vin there. But wobbles past Bell, ends up on the spike. Can Rosu buy some time? He does. He has the grab attempt. Can't quite get there. Acti, too late. Ooh. Jeez. A lot to dissect there, but in the end, that's a flaccid trick cap. Being, bring it back to a one cap ball game. Uh, someone send help. I'm not quite sure what went on there. So, two minutes left on this half. There's going to be two TPs and an RB. He's just going to hold that boost. Gets forced almost into a grab there. That would be disastrous um, if that ended up happening. He's going to win position on the path. Oh, Vin's going to push around the side there. Icky's still going to win it. High tag. In RB out. A lot of work for Acti to do. Positions himself well. Now it's just JL ahead. Let's see if uh, Antimatter stream back. Vin spikes, and this is going to cause a lot of problems. Bell forces the RB flaccid. Butter's in a good spot. Can't quite get the return, but corrals JL into the back of base. Acti on the boost, causing pressure. JL gets out ahead of three. And uh, look, lucky... Uh, but the act is also holding for days because there was a stream of flaccid trip players coming back there. Oh, Act is going to run into the return here. Let's see if he can get a solo bolo on Vin Sanity. Vin plays it nice and slow, doesn't get forced into a 42 quickly in red. See if he's going to sneak past everyone and put a lot of pressure on. Uh, I mean,. He's on the flag tower, but Rosu's going to get an RB for free in midfield. And Vin eventually returned. No, I tag steals the RB, knows the chain. Get a high IQ tag pro. He's going to get himself a juice. A juice RB with a TP lead. He's going to steam through the map here. Gets returned by, uh, I mean, at least diffused by Acti. It's kind of critical, actually, in stopping that one from being a cap. Does end up spiking himself on the bomb. Rosu's going to do a bit of juking in the back of base. Well, button from Bud is not quite strong enough. Misses the snipe on J.O. Bit of pressure here. Acti's going to relieve it, though, with a nice uh, regulation bomb out of the back of base. So 12 seconds. Me here storming back for the ante. No one. Oh, good snipe from Vin, as I say. No one pressuring Acti. Let's see what he can make happen here. There's three, three of them. He probably two, sneaks a little too far four. to the side. That was going to get a grab in the last seconds of the game, get himself a cap flag, and any matters are going to take themselves into a one cap lead at halftime. Two caps to Rosu, six pups to Itag, one cap to Acti, and uh, one each to me here and Vin. The defenders of Flaccid Trips putting in a couple of uh, hard minutes there, proving their worth on offense. So this game's heating up here. Glad to see uh, no rollovers. They want that guarantee seed into the grand final. They gotta start off with a, another win or at least a draw on this half the anti matters. I've noticed the uh, stream numbers have pumped up a little. We've got 10 viewers now. Any refugees from the other game? Is that one looking like a uh, bit of a rollover? Any multi-tabbers? Want to keep me informed? Oh, yeah. There was probably at least three or four tag pros that JL just fucking boosted out past four. <laughs> like underneath the tile. Pink vs. NIP still on the Willow. Is that map one? <laughs> I think that was their map one, wasn't it? Look, I went to a sweaty overtime on Willow the other game uh, against Pinksman. Not a, it was a very stressful map. 
Smoko the top loco, fucking hell. G'day, mate. Welcome, welcome to esports gameplay. You can listen to me uh, pass a little. <laughs> Are these teams gonna ready up or what? Antimat is taking their time here. Don't blame him. Gives me more time to sip on my beer. Actually getting hydrated, I can get behind that. Wait, that's your first time in chat? Fuck. Disappointed? No, no smoko is popping up in chat randomly. Disappointed. JL giving the keen to see you guys in Premble. I'm not sure if that's like a subtle, you know, crap talk or if it's just like, you know, we're going to beat you, but keen to see you in the Prem or if it's just him being legitimately wholesome. All right, I think they're ready now. So, they want that spot in the grand final. They gotta earn it against the number one team. And it starts off with a win on Transilio. JL, though, I've heard he doesn't like uh, waiting around lots. I take him to take out those mid boosts, be a bit of a nuisance. I was gonna grab him to the back of base. Eventually, shut down by Bell. So, uh, I think 2 1 2 going on the first 30 seconds. Might give up a. Bomb here. I tag's got the perfect timings on the bomb every time on this map. Doing a lot of screaming against him. Rosu's going to get a beautiful grab out, but Finn on the bomb hitting that button. Stopping that out ahead of two there. There's going to be a lot of chaos. Um, so they're going to keep that. Clamp D in effect is Vince Sanity and me here there. Forming into a good duo. Gonna be a lot of fighting on this uh, TP here. Depending on who wins this, could be a cap. Bros who's gonna win it on offense. Let's see how well Vin can hold the flag. He's a low ping player. I tag's gonna get shut down on the juice juice. Juice? Juice? Juice juice. <laughs> um Jail's just gonna play super patient. Um and it's probably, you know, not a bad call considering how slow this TP leads advancing up the map. He's gonna eventually get out. Um and the TPs expire, so JL noting knowing when to hold him and when to fold him makes all the difference in the world. Oh, Rosu going for a risky grab, but gets around me here there. Butter's kind of in the way. He's got a bit of navigation to do. Gets past a couple. Can Acti solo I tag? Not quite. And he's going to slip past Bell as well. Does eventually get the return, but there's two ahead. Let's see what these big blocks can do. Rosu going to the bomb and ends up into J.O. Uh, I'm not going to get caps if you move a little too slowly when you have those chances. As soon as 3 OD hits, it's going to be hard to cap. Uh, Acti's going to... It's going to be uh, juice for juice on flag. Bell's going to opt to play snipe D against Mir's RP3. Um, I don't know if I agree with that at all. High tag's gonna end up ahead of two because of that. Um, forgive me, Han Super Drys are a bad beer that make you better. Um, <laughs> but Rosu is looking to sneak in. A good bomb from Acti forces the OD out of the way, and Anti Mad is gonna take that two cap lead. Watch that one on the OOTP replay. Jail's gonna take that bomb now. A bit lazy defense from Rosu, in my opinion. And Jail's gonna just sneak around the back like clockwork. Well, it seems a little too easy in the end. <laughs> kind of watching the bomb out of base and then his uh, capping the flag. So one cap ball game again. 
Pops are spawning, I tags in position. The man actually has timers, it's crazy. Um, don't know where he got them. The juice is not doing enough there to keep him alive. Me here there, butter's juice much more effective. What a sweaty spot, but Bell's just gonna opt to hold against the TP. It's a smart move. Oh, Rosu, nice little counter snipe. It's gonna get Bell a chance there. Butters couldn't quite hit the bomb block, so that's gonna relieve a bit of pressure. Yeah, you gotta go for those. Sometimes you hit them, sometimes you don't. Um, I think that was the right choice. Just a little uh, inaccurate through the portal, which is fair enough. It's a hard one to hit. And they're gonna stay ahead. Oh god, JL had gate there. If he trusted Vin. <laughs> People giving him too much space. The tail as old as time. Makes the better players better. <laughs> Gonna keep sneaking past. Acti's got that hold. Let's see if he can back up Bell on the mid RB. Can't quite. Jail's gonna get RB defused and ends up killing himself <laughs> once he got it. Acti's got a bit of work to do. Getting chased by Vin. I wanna see. Oh! Hits him into the bomb through the portal with the other bomb. <laughs> Dirty return. I tag's got a chance now. Let's see if we can get around Rosu. Can't quite make the corner work. Gets around one, gets around a couple. Can't split Rosu for the cap though in the end. So three, four, still. Flaccid trips. Still searching for that neutralizer in half two. Near and I tag gonna do some solid work on defense. But this slower map, definitely looking a lot better for flaccid trips. Bell's got a lot of work to do. He's got to stay ahead of JL. Can he deny the boost? He does. That's cl that's clutch because Acti's getting uh, double blocked. They're still pretty good OD for double block, admittedly. But he's going to end up getting that solo right before pops. Um, Vin's a little indecisive. He ends up putting the juice anyways. Um, gets the rub grab with it against the Buttercup. Bell, bit of a miss boost, a lot of pressure. Rosu stays alive, has the RB, gets return. JL sends Bell out of there and then gets the block on Acti. So Flaccid Trip's going to equalize 4 4. And this is what, if you're an Anti Matters fan, you're fearing it's the Flaccid Trips coming back and coming hard again. Acti's going to get a nice uh, rub grab. He has wide open. Comes around the back, doesn't take the boost. Probably ends up taking it a little slowly. Ooh. It's an opportunity to go on begging. Rosu's got JL vagabonding at him through the map. He actually plays a little slow. Gets returned by Bell in the corner, does Vin. Rosu's got a chance to get out here. I mean, he's going to boost ahead safely. Bell will win that juice. Um, he's going to try solo me here, but oh, ends up getting him on the boost instead. So, perhaps a tag pro wasted. Very well done by Bell in the end. Jail's gonna go flag pro. Doesn't quite make anything happen of it though. So, four, four. Are we looking at Transilio TP over time? Perhaps. Dangerous position here if Jail can get out. But with the three spawning, he gets around with the bomb ahead of three. Acti holding that sandwich so well that Rosu came into base unimpeded there. God, Acti is a beast on OD. My tag's gonna come underneath. They have the, he had, they had that OD diamond and ends up sneaking around the back and flaccid trick on it. They're gonna get ahead. I didn't see whether that was the offense rearranging or the defense, but that diamond OD quickly became Great Wall of China blocks. And flaccid trips are coming. You cannot stop them. They are inevitable. JL, beautiful bomb pass three here. It's going to happen again. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, not quite. Rosu gets there in time. Bell's flaccid buys just enough time. Ooh. <laughs> that could have been one extra nail in the coffin, but it is still game on. Two minutes, 26 left on the clock. Buttercup out ahead of a couple. Doesn't take the boost. Rosu doesn't get the boost block either. Needed one of those two things to happen if there was a chance there, but Rush is going to get out ahead of a couple here. See if you can use this hold for putt pressure. There's an RB all the way at re-grab, so if he can hold, he probably would have earned Acti and RB on flag. I think Acti's aware of this, but he's going to get 
pressured off by Vin. And uh, no RB on flag attempt here. He's pushing, he's getting JL off. Bell's got this RB. Oh, he's going to re-grab. You gotta think you gotta blow them away and get the cap there with your RB and not go for re on the other side of the map. Now they have RB re. Oh. I can't help but feel that's a little wasted here. I tag out ahead of a whole bunch of people. I know Bell has RB, but it's gonna be out. The pressure's now totally on the other side after that decision there. Kind of let it off. Oh, good solo by Vin. Me here slowly cramping up the map while pushing butters. <laughs> the boost comes through. <laughs> Gets the kiss in the end. No return, but flaccid trips. The map pressure is all on them. One more minute. No tag pros on the map. It's going to be one RB and two juices. I tag has a bomb out. Gets returned. So we see how the teams go here. I think they'd be doubling up that RB. That's got to be the strongest pop. JL wins it. That might just be the game. JL with an RB in the last minute might just be the game. Bell's got to hold for 20 seconds. Butters does have this uh, juice. Gets a return in the end. Both get returned. Acti's in a good spot to maybe keep... No, I can't keep iTag in there. Good boost from iTag. Oh, iTag, what a cap. That's the game. Flaccid trips into the grand final. iTag with a beautiful cap off the corner. Watch that one on replay. Absolutely goaded onto the corner, off the sidewall. And that's going to be Flaccid trips winning 6-4. Anti-matters, you'll see them next week. But Flaccid trips into the grand final in two weeks' time. Beautiful comeback here. They came from one cap down at halftime to win by two. That's an amazing half. All team putting it together. Absolutely crazy. I tag sealing that game at the very end. An absolute king. Congratulations, Flaccid Trips. You are the winner of the winner's final. We will see you in two weeks' time. Might go into the Classic Trips channel in a sec. Give them a chance to say some GGs. And commiserations. But we'll also see um, anti batters next week as well. Absolutely crazy end to that game. Apparently, other games still on Villa. Ah, GGs. GGs. Yeah, GGs. GGs, everyone. I can't hear you, but GGs. Oh, GG. Oh, I got shot. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know how you guys broke my while I fixed that one. Um, Alright. Uh, so, Lost Ark soon, Jay? Yeah. And the mm -hmm. servers are still down. I I'm oh, I know. Vito with Hurricane. Yeah, I can't believe they beat us on Moonbase. Christ. I mean, we beat them on Moonbase. That's clearly our worst map. Oh. Yeah, I'm bad on Moonbase. Oh. I hate Moons and Bases. Moons and Bases. You hate oh, Bases so much you hold in mid all the time. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, I hate midfield. Yeah. Head off. Yes. Good, Jeremy. Hello. Tank. Oh! Did, did you not a little at the end there when you scored that <laughs> Um, no. I want, that's wasn't what I was going for. Don't say that. Don't say that. I tried to hit it straight on, but you know, it still worked. No, don't say that. <laughs> Look, the same thing happened with the cap on uh, market in season 11, so oh, I'll just he, own it. He equalized it. Jay, any words the winning captain going to the grand final? Uh, I'm not going to enter this time. That's all. But only playing Hurricane. <laughs> don't say that. It can be PTSD. We're playing on Pretzel only, and we're going to try to emulate that Rain Nuga cap. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time, yeah. Do you, think, pinks. do you think teams are going to give you room base again? <gasps> um, I feel like I we're good on uh, like, three to four maps. We should be fine. I can think of like should. three maps I'd be happy to pick, like maybe five. Interesting. All right, guys, look, I'm going to let you guys watch this game, and um, congratulations <laughs> on the win. Hey, thank you. Thanks for streaming. Thank you for streaming.
All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Go to Doku's stream. I think they're still on map one. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you boys around. And uh, we'll see you for the grand final, hopefully.